Well, here I am on campus at the University of Nottingham, standing in front of what, on first inspection, might look like just two normal semi-detached homes of the type that you would find on any street scene here in the UK. But don't be fooled by first impressions, because, as I'm going to tell you shortly, when completed, these two houses will demonstrate that with traditional masonry materials, we can achieve the new code for sustainable homes, up to code level six. And what's really exciting about this project is that it gives us a blueprint for low cost, zero carbon homes that can be potentially built in large volumes right across the UK. Now the Tarmac Homes project is a groundbreaking initiative between Tarmac and our two partners, Lovell Homes, and the University of Nottingham for the School for the Built Environment. We've got two houses here, one being built to code level four, the other to code level six. This project is very different from other eco-home projects. First and foremost, it is practical and deliverable. We saw no point in going out creating another costly grand design with an array of green technologies which look wonderful and sound even better, but are not actually really deliverable in the current market. Unlike many other eco-homes, these properties, when they're finished, will be lived in by ordinary people and we'll be asking them to assess their performance alongside the more technical tests we'll have in place. To give us the feedback we need, the team from Nottingham University will be monitoring the energy that is produced and consumed within the houses and they will also be constantly monitoring the temperature and humidity inside. Both properties have been built using masonry materials. This maximises the thermal mass of both envelopes. It's generally accepted that the first step to meeting the higher levels of the code for sustainable homes is to improve both the fabric insulation and the airtightness of the envelope. And that's exactly what we've done. In the code level four home, we went for a traditional brick and block cavity construction with 100 millimeter of partial fill insulation. We've also installed a biomass boiler to provide space heating. The biomass boiler is designed to emulate district heating, which will be an important factor on social housing developments. So how does the Code Level 6 home differ? Well, the external walls are being constructed from a single leaf of tarmac Durox Ercrete blocks with external insulation and render finish. This property also uses the solar hot water system, but we've additionally included photovoltaic panels on the roof, which will help it reach Code Level 6. As you can see, we are nearing completion of the two homes, but as you would expect, the project has not been without its challenges. Perhaps the biggest challenge was always going to be the renewables on the Code Level 6 home. Renewables will always be the most costly component of a build, and as well as the need to keep costs down, this is a volume home, remember, we also encountered other problems. We elected to use fault of the tape panels for the Code Level 6 home, but shading from the trees at the back of the property gave us some initial teething problems. In the UK we have a growing number of eco-type home developments that show us how to build futuristic green design statement homes but at a price. There's also a commonly held myth that the only way you can achieve the new code for sustainable homes, particularly up to code level six, is with lightweight materials like timber. What we don't have in the UK is enough low-cost zero carbon developments that show how you can build to the new code but with readily available masonry type materials. The Tarmac Homes project will show house builders and registered social landlords how masonry materials can and will play a vital role in the future delivery of zero carbon homes in the UK.